Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I truly appreciate all the love, the support that you show me and each other in the comments. Okay guys, and the likes and the subscriptions and the beautiful, beautiful clients that come to see me. I just want to give you a big shout out. Okay, so let's tap in. Let's see what Spirit has to say for us for this collective general nightly reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space with the Carleone deck and I ask for clear, precise channel message for the beautiful collective that is watching me right now. Remember, these are timeless, general, and collective. Okay, they may or may not resonate from start to finish. These are past, present, and future. So you know your story best. Use your discernment, guys. Ancestors, please close any other door other than the highest white light. And let's tap in, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as you're coming in. Show the support. And if you're new to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content. Because I noticed that YouTube is taking away some of the subscribers. So I don't know if it's an accident so you might just want to check and see if you're still subscribed okay confusion and possibilities the seven of cups <sighs> somebody thought they had a lot of options okay which put them in a lot of confusion wow four of pentacles now somebody can't hold on to you it's like somebody wanted to play the field maybe you were trying to play the field to see if there was something better but clearly there's not now somebody can't hold on to you and you have ended something have a major completion. Now you're about to see the world. You have success and so much achievements after that completion. There was a lot of confusion because of the possibilities, but you went into hermit mode. Really an went into this um, analysis situation, but you chose to take accountability for your actions. So you weren't stuck in analysis paralysis. You found the solution in solitude. And that was just walking away. <laughs> now, you could be a narcissist's worst nightmare because you choose not to give them any energy. Somebody thought that they'd have you very confused. <laughs> but you are the queen of pentacles. You know exactly who you are. You're very generous, caring, nurturing, and you have a lot of abundance. You are the wifey. Someone would be very, very honored to have you in their life. Unfortunately, you choose to be by yourself, eight of pentacles. Because you're turning your talents into profession. You know there's some kind of money coming in. And a lot of people refuse to help you when you were down. They like kicked you when you were down. So ancestors, spirit guides are putting you into hermit mode. So that they, you can see a king of wands for who they are. This king of wands did had a lo lot of options. But they were in an illusion. Now this king of wands may want to take some kind of position as a leader. But they have to be creative. Because the sun is there. They see some growth, recovery. Maybe this king of wands wants to be the leader after some kind of recovery. After you ended a cycle, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, once you completed something, you have growth and recovery. You find the solutions to the situations in hermit mode. And you have major success afterwards. Somebody is realizing that in order for them to have the success, they have to stand up in their morals and integrity. There's that seven of pentacles in reverse. You know a lot of people refuse to invest in you. Even if you had a bullseye on your back, people that refuse to see your true potential. Somebody refused to see their own true potential is what it comes down to, four of wands. Now, somebody might have tried to break up a relationship, a partnership or something so that you would feel like you, there's nothing to celebrate. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, it's the hangman in reverse. A lot of people are seeing in a 360 degree angle that a lot of people are after you for some kind of financial gang or some kind of it's like they want to work with you they see that you're turning your talents into profession and something is coming in for you this king of wands wants to grow with you sees you as the sun four of pentacles wow no this king of wands wants to hold on to you guys is what it comes down to you might have gotten a relationship with this king of wands but they clearly had a lot of options so you ended a cycle because you knew your worth the sun god raw was protecting you the whole time nine of pentacles now you're single self-sufficient and you definitely are marriage material oh it's the ten of pentacles even better guys these people were after your inheritance heart of the deck wow yeah it's the four of cups in reverse you chose to self-love guys that is something that 
somebody did not expect you to do Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come in as a knight in shining armor with some kind of proposal. They see you as marriage material. They see you're inheriting something from the ancestors. And they're taking the lead. Could be a Leo Aries Sag. Doesn't have to be, guys. Taurus Virgo Capricorn does not have to be. But something is coming in for you. And somebody is definitely on your ass about the situation. Spirit Guides. There was a lot of confusion before because somebody thought there was a lot of possibilities. But when you ended a cycle and seen the success coming in for you, because you learned how to analyze the situation, go into solitude to find a solution, you no longer had a bullseye on your back. Well, maybe you did, but people seen your potential after that. <laughs> yeah. Empress in reverse. This king of wands thought an empress in reverse was their one and only <laughs> oh shit emperor and upright yeah you took charge of a situation and there was a, a king of wands who was in a feminine energy two of pentacles doesn't want to juggle anymore because they see this three of wands coming in you used your creative magic to have a zest for life you brought in some kind of playful energy into your life and now you are the ceo independent contractor of your own life you are authentic to your core values and you chose to take charge and end the situation because you are the sun and you had the sun god raw protecting you now there could have been an aries and a taurus and what's on my floor is the star. They seen you as a star. They seen you awakening to your true potential. What's on my floor? It's the three of swords. And they wanted to cause some kind of heartbreak so that they can get victory over you. Victory in some kind of way. Victory over your inheritance. Victory over your stability. Victory over this money that's coming in. They could say that they are the reason why you have what you have. Oh, wait, wow. Say it's a mother and this son is choosing to end a cycle. This mother is trauma bonding them because they don't want them to heal and have this high vibrational um, psychic awakening. Because then once you have the psychic awakening, you will eliminate the people who are just not good for you. Somebody is not a divine feminine or masculine. Take it as it resonates and cannot go on a new adventure. So wants to mm, say everybody else's adventure is them it's the me too person you know the pick me person and they're really really upset because of the stagnant energy that they're in you healed from this heartbreak and these bad vibes that people were trying to put you in you are very valuable now it could have been a matriarch somebody's mother somebody's girlfriend somebody just older than you take it as it resonates male or female it's irrelevant they wanted you to not be happy not celebrate and definitely not have a, a, a healthy relationship but these people are trying to hold on to you. They really wanted your victory. But as you've seen, the Six of Wands is in reverse. They wanted victory over you, but they failed at this. Because you are still got good fortune coming in because you have that manifestation stone as the blue topaz. Your joy, your generosity allows good things to come in. And your confidence allows you to go after your dreams without any fear. Somebody wanted you to be fearful. Eight of Cups. And aimlessly wandering, having no support because they chose not to support you. What the fuck? No, you're supported by the ancestors. See, four of wands. You have abundance. You have that attitude of gratitude. So it brings you joy. And this is why you have this inheritance. Even if somebody tried to take that from you, well, they can't. Because at the end of the day, you are the one who's victorious through all adversities. Even if people are trying to hold on to you, it's only because you really did the work all by yourself. And this is why you're choosing not to be around certain kind of people because they kicked you when you were down. They told you you couldn't be something that you knew you could be. So you're clearing out the energies and you are the master purifier. You're detoxifying yourself and changing that attitude. Now, this king of wands could have sold himself out and moved in with this, this empress in reverse because of some kind of distortion. They were very confused. <clears throat> they thought they had a lot of possibilities with this empress, but this empress had some kind of curse on their life, whether it's financially or not. Somebody wanted to switch locations, switched it up, and now they're feeling gripped, weighed down, chained down as the emperor. Yeah, somebody um went towards somebody for stability, not realizing that stability lied with the one who was honest and in the upright. Now somebody feels way down because you have grew. A lot of people have grew and want to get out of this sold out energy of this house. I'm telling you, a lot of people are in spiritual death and Archangel Michael is here to protect you, the beautiful star. A lot of people didn't see your potential. 
They didn't see your success, your potential for success, but Archangel Michael and your ancestors did. And there's divine intervention here. You are prevented from any kind of harm because of your high vibrational energy, because of your ability to have that energy to tap into your psychic and help others as well. There is no competition, guys. You infuse love into everything that you do. And this is why people were envious of you and trying to hurt you. Because they themselves are locked down in a situation that they can't get themselves in. So what it is, is the bucket full of crabs, guys. People are sending bad vibes because they don't want you to have what they don't have. People are trapped in, closed and frustrated, trying to send SOSs. So what it is, is like they're acting out so that it's like a call for help. But you're getting the victory, guys. Somebody can get the victory as well, but a lot of people are indulging in you. Time is definitely a factor because there's a lot of people still eating this poison apple. You know, it's the knowledge that people are feeding. Uh, people, you ought to be careful because half the time the people who are talking shit about other people are the ones you have to be careful of, okay? There's a lot of toxic and unhealthy behaviors that people are having no choice but to check because a lot of people are coming in with a big fucking thank you to you because you help somebody see the truth of this Jezebel spirit, this mother figure, take it as it resonates and somebody wants an intervention, wants to be rescued. There was a lot involved in this toxic energy of trying to, you know, it's a brainwashing kind of energy, guys. Seriously, somebody tried to brainwash somebody to pick them maybe because of some kind of house and then they got into the house and realized that house was trash that person don't even know how to clean it's dirty <laughs> i don't know guys but whatever it is they're very much gripped because they see that you have self-love self-respect you tr transmuted the darkness and you have a lot of people spying on you but ancestor michael is protecting you if you watched that last reading i showed you the spiritual warfare a lot of people are mad because of your anointing and it, none of this darkness will ever stick to you. It's divine timing. You trusted that you are safe from all adversities. You are safe to heal from the heartbreak that other people are doing towards you. You are protected to detox and switch the attitude. I'm telling you, you are in your north node. You are in your soul's purpose. And that's why a lot of people are intrigued by you, indulged in you, watching you, got your popcorn, got their popcorn. <laughs> Because you're having a transcendence, a unity. This is how you defeat these dark energies is by knowing thyself and having the confidence and the clarity to go towards your dreams. Being generous. Remember, a gift is meant to be given away, correct? This is why I drop these readings. I don't get paid for it. I definitely don't get no tips or nothing like that. So I do it out of the kindness of my heart because it's the right thing to do. Self-love, creation, and intentions. It's all about intentions, guys. And somebody's intentions were all wrong. And you're super attractive because of your authenticity, your morals, your integrity, your dignity, your ethics, guys. Like I said, you move like no other. And somebody is being sparked like this renewal back into themselves. They start to believe in themselves when they're around you. But when you're not around... They're trying to look for a replacement and they found a replacement, but they manifested everything that they said you were. And this is what's upsetting them is because they left because you told them to. You told them to leave. And then as soon as they left, they tried to replace you because clearly they weren't owning up to what they chose to do to you. Now somebody wants a fresh new start because they're watching, they're spying. They got receipts that, you know, you are who you are and this person is not you. <laughs> somebody wants to take charge. Awaken their psychic abilities and heal something with you. Tap into that high frequency. But somebody's very jealous. They're a very fucking jealous person. And this is why they tried to break your heart because they knew you were valuable, but they wanted other people not to see your value. They wanted you to be locked up. So that this way you were waiting for them like you were going to be heartbroken because they chose somebody else thinking that they had a victory with that somebody else. But you knew there was no victory. Yes, you are the son. You knew it. You know God creator source was always going to protect you. And you had a completion here for a reason. Nothing is for nothing. Heart of the deck, it's nothing. See, nothing is for nothing. Nothing. It's time to ground yourself. And lo love me. Somebody is very insecure. They had somebody around them that was uh, just as insecure and needy as them. Now, you have somebody who wants to get into a relationship with you. A real divine partnership with you. But 
they have a lot of distortion around them and they probably are very distorted so i don't even know if they know what love is because clearly maybe they do now that they've woken up from this transgression and lost everything somebody sees and wants to do the work with you because they know with you you get the victory this is why a lot of people talk shit about you or all in your on your ass is because you know <laughs> 30 because three you are the empress mind body and soul that's why Give them a show, guys. They want to watch, then give them a show. Spirit guides, let's do this. Number 30. It's the garden of cruel thorns. Protection, vigilance, and vulnerability. You, you feel the need to protect yourself. Don't, don't let feelings of hurt and misunderstanding change who you are. You, it is completely natural to put up barriers, but far better to face situations head on than to let them fester. There are many wonderful opportunities ahead. So do not let people's attitudes and projections change who you are. You are a strong, beautiful person. See the lessons of the last few months and years as a learning curve. However negative situations may have left you in the past or may you may have felt in the past, they were challenges which made you stronger, not weaker. If you feel you have been let down, find a way to cope and deal with it as vengeance is never the answer. If you, are, if you are this way inclined, then be vengeful by shining your light brighter. Those who you feel have done you wrong will be affected more by your success than seeing your vulnerability. Embrace the moment and let go. The right people will come into your life when the time is right. But you need to take a deep breath and start the new day free of any worries and fears. I'm telling you, you have nothing to fear. It's time to, you know... Straighten your fucking crown. Yes, a lot of people are jealous. Yes, I'm sure you even have some jealous tendencies. But you also understand that if a person doesn't value you, then they have a right to be with somebody else. But because you chose that, being an adult, somebody didn't like that. They thought that you were going to chase after them, and that's what you were not going to do. So let's get down, go down the rabbit hole, okay? Spirit guys, let's go down the rabbit hole. Let's see about this. What's going on here? Yep, you make impossible things happen, guys. I'm telling you. It says working through disbeliefs, imaginative leaps, and fresh new perspectives. Somebody should have had a new, a fresh new perspective about you or is having a fresh new perspective about you because you changed overnight. You have changed quickly. Somebody didn't realize that you really do make impossible things happen. And there was a lot of people talking nonsense. And it's time to talk sense. You made a lot of people talk sense. Look into it. Do their own fucking fact checking, guys. A lot of people were just talking right out their fucking ass because you weren't commenting back. <laughs> like, you don't have to. <laughs> you know who you are. And you, like, what is it called? Look, see, like, you had an energy vampire. And you, like, cut off their source, their supply, which was you, by not even entertaining somebody. Never jammed today because you knew that promises never were kept. It says promises that never came to be, empty words, not living in the now. You knew there was a lot of people not living in the now, not making sense of a situation. They'd ha have a lot of promises, but they couldn't really, you know, fulfill any of those promises. It was all empty words, guys. So you had to love on yourself. Never mind loving on another. You know that people didn't even know what the fuck real love was. So when they're around real love, they treat them like trash. Sometimes people only treat people good if they're like them. And this is exactly what happened. So somebody has manifested just what they thought that you were, just what they were. And now somebody feels very depressed, lonely, and in a lot of anxiety. The voice of their heart. Because somebody wants to speak the voice of their heart. It says, I silence my fear in me and discover the voice in my heart. The, few, the fruit... Of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on my path of light. Now somebody, faithfulness. Somebody knows that you are faithful. Maybe because they went and they got into a situation with somebody who was clearly not faithful. So they really realized, they found out what true faithfulness is. Maybe they were never around somebody who was really a good person. So of course they didn't believe in that kind of thing. But oh, now they do because you are the blueprint faithful. I commit to my mind, my heart and my will. I am devoted to the needs of my soul. I trust myself in God and in the universe. 
Maybe somebody is not, you know, religious. Maybe they're spiritual. Maybe God is, is a, means a different thing to them. But they're definitely speaking their heart now and wanting to come in with this Ten of Pentacles, this structure, this discipline. You have sparked somebody into self-love. And now they want to come in with that big, huge thank you and give you some compassion, nurture you. Maybe they like to give you foreheads. Maybe this new person is going to give you a lot of forehead kisses because you're so fucking adorable. <laughs> Somebody loves you inside as well as out, guys. And there's a lot of people who are watching you be true to yourself. And somebody wants to be true to themselves as well. I am true to myself and others. I remove my mask and stop creating illusions. I have the confidence in who I am and I reveal the good in me. I do not need to hide to prove anything. I replace shame with the power of love and truth. Now, there was a lot of people hiding things. But you have no shame and you don't hide anything. You really don't. You let your, your voice speak what your heart is saying. And somebody is feeling a little bit repressed. Because they didn't do that. They know that you have a fresh new start coming in. They're seeing you be your true authentic self and make sense of the nonsense. And look, this is the one. You have the one true love coming in. It says you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Now, there could have been a lot of people really mad that you're on your sole purpose, the North Node, and didn't want another person to join you on that. But you needed to trust the divine timing, guys. Because this is the one. And somebody does want to retreat with you religious factors but like i said somebody could be religious and you could be spiritual i don't know but it says your lo your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path so maybe somebody was religious but because of their like they're hiding behind this religion but really they're very dark dark soul so they're trying to control somebody with some kind of traditions family traditions or religion or something and because of your spirituality, they said that you were the dark one because it's easier to do that, right? Especially if you read tarot or you're a spiritual healer of some kind, a seer even. Like, how do you know this stuff if you're not working with dark spirits, right? Well, there is a way. It's just by having a clean spirit and understanding it's about intentions on what you're creating for the world that you get back beautiful things or not. Depends. It's karma or dharma, right? What the fuck you putting out there? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Somebody wants to disconnect from the world so that they can really assess or maybe somebody needs to <laughs> so they can really assess exactly who is toxic and who's, you know, feeding them this this garbage. Somebody wants to get rescued, but they're going to have to shine, guys. Somebody is mad at your shine because you your light irritates people's demons and you make them have no choice but to tell the truth. Because nothing will come of the situation with this empress in reverse and the emperor in upright. Nothing. Because my my phone is about to die, guys. So nothing is about nothing is gonna come from it. And somebody's trying to kill your light, like I said, trying to stop you dead in your tracks. Nothing is gonna come from the situation, guys. The voided course moon, bottom of the deck is nothing. Okay? It says have faith in your dreams. Somebody doesn't want you to have faith in your dreams. The waxing crescent moon is exactly what we're in right now if you're watching this live, okay? Now, emotions are running high because you are the master healer. You transmuted the darkness, turned it into light, and healed the situation. And now your dreams need a practical plan. You really were practical about a situation. You didn't mind if somebody was with you or not. You knew that you could do this by yourself. You were not codependent. You were not needy. You were not a pick me. You do it all by yourself. And this is why you're giving guidance to others. They can do it too. But you have to have the attitude of gratitude to know that your dreams can come true. A lot of people are feeling in their fucking feelings. Super moon, guys. We're getting into that eclipse season. So beware. I think it's the 10th of May. If I'm not correct, the 5th or the 10th of May is major super moon okay so be ready for this i'm gonna take one message from the healing plant world and i hope this resonates guys i hope this gave you some clarity please like comment subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notified if, when i post new content and if you want a more personal reading just hit me up on my email on facebook and i'd love to dig into your cards okay we got the jewel weed okay so somebody seen you as a jewel and treated you like a weed is what i'm getting off of that okay jewel weed 
Warms, warm and wise energy dissolves the hurt places that keeps us from feeling love. It treat, teaches us to remove, to move beyond duality in order to embrace oneness. Jewel weed reminds us of the abundance of life. You see what I mean? There is no competition between the light and the dark. We have to understand that it's between knowledge and ignorance. Somebody thought that somebody was not going to be smart and be a coward. Like these people are cowards. They can't face you. Okay. And it's only because of your warm and wise energy. It dissolves the hurt in places that keeps people from feeling love. You are love. And it teaches us to move beyond the dualities in order to embrace oneness. We are one, light and dark. And your this jewel read is reminding us all that abundant love, life is abundant. Okay, so I hope this helps give you some clarity. Okay, you have the fool here. Time to take a new leap of faith, guys, because you are the star. You are healing. You are co-creating with the universe, and there is a dead end situation. For this empress in reverse who is trying to play God in your life with magic or manipulation, love is coming in. It could be with an air sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you're very guarded to communicate what you want. Now, there's a father, a boss, a teacher of all things, a loving, guiding husband who is coming in, but maybe very, very jealous. So talk, communicate. So then this way you can trust each other because somebody's coming home, guys. It could be a Taurus. Check my Taurus's north node, so check your birth sign, uh, birth chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus. A lot of people are playing games, guys, but you know your worth and you shine through all adversities. And these hexes that this empress in reverse has sent to a lot of people are being sent back because God creator source has you. You're going to ce start celebrating because it's a game over for anybody who has tried to bring you karma, tried to play God. These karmic energies are being seen for who they are. Okay, guys? So I hope this resonates. People know that big things are coming in for you. And the haters are going to hate because you are fucking enlightened. And they don't want their shit to be seen. But energy never lies. They're trying to shut you up by setting you up. But you got the strength to enlighten the situation and continuously keep going in spite of the disapproval of others. <laughs> I'm telling you, your discipline has a lot of people at a crossroads right now they are like um flabbergasted of your healing of your rejuvenation they really tried to anchor you into their toxic energies by setting you up but they end up just playing mind games on themselves and now they're stuck hating for the rest of their life in a dead-end situation because they're karmic it is what it is guys look and now they're fucking it's their inner child Somebody wants to get in a marriage with you and have children with you, but they may just want to anchor you down into a crossroads so you're confused. Okay? Look. Yeah, there's a major karmic lesson. Somebody might have had karmic children with somebody in a marriage and they just got anchored down and now they're at a crossroads and a lot of fucking regret because karma is definitely playing in this winter time. It's a cold winter for a lot of people. And this full moon coming up is going to be epic, guys. So somebody lost out on you. And you are just, you know, telling them maybe next lifetime. I love you guys. This cancer is really fucked up because this Aquarius, this cancer, this high priestess. Yeah, this cancer sees you as a star and knows you're a high priestess doing the right thing. And that's why love is going to win. What's meant to be is going to be, guys. Nobody can stop shit from happening. So cheers, guys. I love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, night, whenever you watch this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, okay? And listen to the voice of your heart. And be faithful because people do see this, that you are being true to yourself and you always have been. And this is why God Creator Source is bringing in a beautiful abundance, a beautiful energy, a beautiful love so that you can retreat. Distance yourself from the world for a little while and really see what kind of influences have been trying to bring you down. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay blessed. If you want a hero, be the hero. Stay blessed, guys. Peace.